Okay, this time we're going to go directly through the JTAG for the uh, JTAG read write. So go to the JTAG read write tab. We've got power on the board, so let's click connect and get ID. You can see that we're connected. It says connected dead body ID. Uh, dead body is an interesting choice of words, but that's because this software is normally used to repair dead cell phones. We've got a starting address. We've got a length, which is good. We can en enter whatever values we want in here. Uh, in this case, we've got a gig set. Next, we want to click halt the target. And you can see uh, it shows you the different uh, ROM spaces. In this case, halt target is always required prior to clicking read memory. So let's click read memory now. Out of memory error shows if you've selected too large of a size. In this case, we've got one gig, which is too much. We need to knock this down a little bit. So let's just do a half a gig. Uh, so I'm just going to use a regular programming calculator here and convert that over to hex and copy and paste this into uh, the software. All right, let's connect and get ID again. The board's still powered. Looks like we've got a good connection. Again, halt. Oops, we got an issue. Software is frozen, so let's just shut it down. Fire it back up again. All right, so the board is still powered, so let's, let's connect and get ID. Looks like we're good. Halt the target, then read memory. All right, so we've started the read memory process. Looks like it's working now. Um, you can see we've got sample at max set. Remember, uh, you kinda, the, the connection stability is questionable when you sample at max, but it seems to be working. We've got a very slow connection speed here, which is typical with the JTAG read write, and we're only able to grab a half a gig at a time. So these are some disadvantages of using the JTAG direct access. Normally this would be a player, you'd use this tab exclusively if you didn't have the resurrector settings. In this case, we're able to select HTC Supersonic, uh, but if you had to do a custom uh, custom settings, that's when you'd use the JTAG. Let's compare the speeds against the DCC, and we can see here it will just start a new session. You can see here the speeds are much faster uh, on the DCC, and uh, we're able to get the auto, well, basically the auto full flash size, so we can grab the whole gig at a time. So the DCC is the way to go when you have the resurrector settings. JTAG is the way to go if you have to do custom settings. That's it.